Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help folks find high-value hi-fi, home theater, headphone gear, and today, yes, this is going to be a fun one. Today we're talking about, let me see if I'm going to do this right, Aoshida Dilv Poetry DAC DT-1. It's a headphone amp, a DAC with a tube buffer and Bluetooth and a fully functioning remote. Yeah, I call it the the, the Frankenfire. Yeah. All right, so sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Aoshida Dilv Poetry DAC DT-1 headphone DAC amp amplifier. Today's sponsor is Sith Audio, acetaminophen-like pain reliever. Let's face it, you and I both know what it's like to turn up the volume and listen and enjoy a lot of music and then get a headache. That's why Sith Audio stepped up to the plate and provided an acetaminophen-like experience with their Sith Audio acetaminophen-like pain reliever. Currently undergoing some FDA trials right now, but things are looking very promising probably is going to be available soon. That's right, Sith Audio acetaminophen-like pain reliever. So Aoshida, they're kind of like Shenzhen Audio. They're a retailer, really, I think, or a distributor of products. But what a lot of folks have been doing is actually coming up with their own products. And Aoshida came up with the Dill Poetry D DAC DT-1. They sent me uh, an email about this asked me if I wanted to review it actually asked me if I wanted to re review a couple of things and when I saw this I was 100% all in because it's different looking it's very different looking I haven't seen anything like it and I was curious on the front one has a regular 6.3 6.35 millimeter headphone single ended out but also a 4.4 pentagon headphone out for your balanced headphones. I don't think this is balanced on the inside because it doesn't have balanced outputs for the RCA, but it doesn't matter. It's there for convenience. On the front, you have a very nice uh, Aoshida and then a, a treble cleft for music, Dilf Poetry, and then a DAC DT-1. The front panel is a wavy piece of mirror. This looks like, I don't know, Tony Montana. So this looks like if Tony Montana had a DAC headphone Frankenfire that he kept by the bed at night because he had a lot of digital music. I was going to try to do a, an impression. Um, I did it and then I heard myself do it and it was absolutely horrible. Okay. So I didn't do it. I'm not including it. On the back, 12 volt power, uh, regular RCA outputs. Full-size coax, full-size optical, full-size USB, Bluetooth, and the Bluetooth does LDAC. It does Aptex HD, Aptex AAC, all and all of the good codecs, except for some of the latest and greatest codecs. But it's really cool because the LDAC codec is affordable now. It's all it's it's all in here. It's in a lot of products. This thing is two hundred and nineteen dollars. I was mostly curious about this thing. It's very unique looking, but guess what? It sounds really good. Also, these uh, tubes are the 6N3, the more common tubes that you see in a lot of little headphone amplifiers, MT602, 604. I think they're the same tubes. They look like the same tubes. They smell like the same tubes. Let's talk about what's under the hood. I actually took notes, old school style. All right, can you hear that? All right, under the hood, there is a Sabre ESS 9038QTM, which is a chipset that a lot of people have been using. And it's a very good sounding DAC. Because, now, when you talk about DAC chips, it's just not the DAC chip. You gotta talk about the op amps, too. So this thing has two Texas Instruments op amps, 1656s. Actually, it has six op amps, excuse me. Six Texas Instruments OPA 1656, two Texas Instruments 6120 Alpha 2, and that's for the uh, 
actually the amplifier section. Then it has a Qualcomm Bluetooth chip and an XMOS controller. So this is interesting. And I was going to talk about this in a video, and I'll probably do a video just in itself. But a lot of people, when they talk about they call it chi-fi, like hi-fi hi from Asia. What I find most interesting, because it has a negative connotation, just like Japanese stuff was equated with not being very good back in the 60s. What's interesting to me about this product is we have an XMOS sensor, which is a UK com company out of the UK. Sabre DAC chip company out of California. Texas Instruments amplifier and op amp chips company out of Texas and the Qualcomm Bluetooth chip. So we have parts from the UK and then a whole bunch of parts from the US inside this thing. So I'll let you draw your own conclusions, but under the hood, this is all European and British and American. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so I tested these with the very hard to drive Fostex. I think this is the T40RP. Um, I just put different ear pads on there. These ear pads, oh, and then I made my own comfort strap. People sell comfort straps for $20. So I went out into the garage, found a piece of, I think this is fake leather, pleather, I don't know, vinyl something. I don't know why I had it. I found this and then I cut it and then I took out these screws and I screwed it in. And this is exactly like what other people have, except it's not nearly as nice because it's not leather. Anyway, these are hard to drive, very hard to drive. Probably my most hard to drive headphone. And it's not because they're, I think they're 60 ohm headphones. I have headphones with higher resistance, but for whatever reason, these are monsters. Probably has to do with their sensitivity, which I don't know right now. Oops. Anyway, this, the DAC DT1 Frankenfire. Like Frankenstein. Except the, just the same, except Frankenstein was made out of a whole bunch of different parts from uh, corpses. This is made out of a kind of different stylings of hi-fi and products and stuff like that. Frankenfire. I'm going to let this one land for a second. I also tested this with a Sennheiser HD 560S. Very light. No problem with these. For the Fostex, it did drive them, and it sounded pretty good. I had to get up to 90, though, and the volume span is zero to, I think, 99. So I had to get them up to 90. And on big bass hits, it distorted a little bit. It did a pretty good job. I was really surprised that it actually did as well of a job on this. And I tried to look for power rating specs. The only spec I could find was on one, uh, and this was like the spec sheet from Texas Instruments. It was rated at 80 milliwatts into 600 ohms, and that's for one, and there's two in here. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the power ratings are for this thing. It works, though. works pretty well. It did drive the Fostex. It drove them loud enough, though, for me. Sennheiser's, it was fine. I also tried out the Dan Clark Aeon Close, which is very similar to the drop. Dan Clark Drop Aeon Closed X. I have the RT version. So what does it sound like? It sounds very clean. And the tubes, I feel like they are really adding something here because I had a more of a 360 or holographic experience with Nine Inch Nails. Every day is the same, which I listen to. The soundstage is broad, for headphones at least. Bass was controlled. It sounds great. It sounds incredible, especially at the price, $220. This is exactly what I thought, or well, this is what I was hoping it was going to sound like. The Sabre ES9038, ESS9038 QTM, I like that DAC chip. And on the other products that I've heard, it sounded great. I really like that it has a whole bunch of Texas Instruments op amp chips, because those generally are pretty good, and those are Burr Brown op amp chips, and I sure like Burr Brown stuff. From a sound perspective, this thing is clear, and with the tubes, it's a little bit sweet. One has the opportunity to do some tube rolling with this. On a two-channel system, I tried this out with, well, a vintage receiver. I don't know how applicable this is going to be to most people. Pioneer SX 3700. Sounds great. Anyway, anyway, with this on there, it did add some even more awesomeness. With a Class D speaker amplifier, 
you may want to play around with the tone controls, which incidentally, this has tone controls. And you can turn off the tube stage if you're, you want to. I don't know why, because it sounds really good. That's actually one of the reasons why somebody should consider this. This product is very similar to a, a product I really like from IEMA, the T8. That The T8 has one tube. The chips that they use in the T8 are not as, well, expensive. I could say they're not as nice, but I like, I think this one sounds better. It's also a hundred dollars more though, and has some pretty unique styling. So this might not be for everybody, unless you're Tony Montana. So all in all, I think there's a lot to like about this product. It is going to add some three-dimensionality to the music, a little bit of holographic nature, a little sweetness with those tubes also has a very good sounding DAC chip, also has a very good sounding set of op amp chips. It also has a very capable Bluetooth chip, which gives you basically all the codecs you could possibly want. Two headphone connectors, a regular 6.35 and then a Pentagon if you have the headphones. Drives most headphones, most. Probably 90% of the headphones people have out there. This is going to drive just fine. And it sounds really good. For $220, there are other products out there from the likes of X-Duo that may look a little bit better in your opinion or my opinion, but this is a strong contender. At $220, you're getting a great DAC, very good sounding headphone amp, very good sounding DAC into a two-channel system, fully functioning remote, styling's a little bit dated, but if you don't care about that, this is a fun product. It's a Frankenfire. At $220, I, I like it. I think it's cool. It's different, but it's cool. I think there's about seven or eight of them left on Amazon. I'm also going to link the direct link to Aoshida. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. You get a few months for free, or you get Disney Plus for free during your trial. You can cancel at any time. But if you do sign up through those links, I will get a couple of dollars. You can also use the affiliate link for the Aoshida Dill Poetry DAC DT-1 Bluetooth receiver, headphone amp, headphone amp, DAC, all sorts of stuff. You can use those links to buy that and I will get a commission. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new Dill Poetry DAC DT-1 Frankenfire and fill your soul with happiness and with that I'm Randy I'm the Chief Audio Man